Hey man, what it is, what it do? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Welcome to the No Buffer Podcast, man. We had we were having a heated um, <laughs> basketball debate off camera. Stay heated around these yeah. parts. Cheyenne was just sitting I'll back, just like sitting I, was, I don't know. Shout out to my keys. Not my thing. Not my thing. It's all good. It's all good. Stay heated around these parts, man. Yeah, for sure. Lo- man. Looney but, uh, Tunes. <laughs> I want to get this in before we start because I, I forgot last last go round. Okay. So I got a couple of dates. That I want to make sure I say today. Yes, Go ahead. yes, yes. Sundress and Sangria. Yes. Live from the Speakeasy, May 24th. Mm-hmm. You can get your tickets at sundressandsangria.com. Um, $10 tickets, or you can pay $25 and have bottomless sangria all night. Uh-huh. I'm thinking that's probably your, your best option, but I'm just going to put that out there. That's all. Yeah. Uh, DJ, find me up. DJ Utz on the ones and twos, hosted by Tanette. Um, then June 7th, we got Paid in America, No Free Lunch, EP okay. release. We got the homie Silver Rights joining us. We got the homie Fly Mind Poet um, joining us. We got the homie Grip. We got Vitamin C. It's going to be a good night, very good night. Um, so y'all show up. You can go to PaidInAmerica.com and grab those tickets, man. It's just going to be a good night. And they look, they only if you RSVP, they only a dollar. That's what's up. Only a dollar if you RSVP. If you don't RSVP, nice, guess nice what? It's going to run you for the 10. A dollar well spent. So I'm just saying, RSVP, spend a dollar. Have a good time, man. It's like the dollar me, you know, free lunch. You see what we... Okay, I see cool. what you did there. Okay, <laughs> I see what you did there. Just saying, man. Shout we, out to those marketing skills. Yeah. I see you. <laughs> but yeah, other than that, man, how, how is everybody doing, man? I didn't do my, my, my um, professional intro. I'm sorry. Oh, no. It's, well, you had to get that out the way. Sorry. Mm-hmm. It's okay. I feel like they know us already, but it's all good. I'm Lingo Steve. To oh, my wow. left, we got Cheyenne XO. Yep. And I'm I'm last name good. There hey, you go. There it is. It. There it is. How was uh yeah week? Pretty good, man. Um, I can't complain. I got really? a whip today. So you got a you got the whip. You got, got a new whip I now. I got a new whip today. New whip. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, man. Skr, skr. <laughs> <laughs> no, no more. Well, I am Uber shoddy, but not hey, like ain't that. Ain't no wrong with Uber. It's it's a little costly, but you know. I remember a time when it used to be Martin shoddy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Y'all know right. about that that right. Martin pad. Right. That breed. Martin right. kept going up too though. What yeah. kind you got? Uh, you know, some some light. Some a light. Little, oh, I see little, what she did. Right a little, sh- nah, for real, some light. It's a, <laughs> 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 you know, a little, a little V main. Not too serious mm-hmm. about it. Nah, I got a um a Chevy Trax. So it's an SUV. Okay. I'm back oh, to my oh, roots. Oh, you got an SUV, huh? Yeah, I'm you back see to it. my roots. Okay, see I see it. what's going on. She drives. She got that bit boy. You she see about it. to start Uber. You, <laughs> <see> <laughs> <what> <laughs> you see know, going on. carpool. Yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah. How was y'all's week? Um. My cousin got married and I was DJing at Aww. the wedding, uh, but we were just out in the woods. In the sticks. What's the, the sticks. what's the woods? We were in two locations. Mm-hmm. We stayed in outside of White Plains, Georgia. Yeah, I ain't never heard of that shit. In between, we were in like <laughs> in between White Plains and Sparta, where we stayed at. Okay. The wedding was in Jewel, Georgia. <laughs> These are all places that population of probably about mm, all of a thousand, never maybe. Heard of that. They yeah, stay there. All. Nothing. Bro, I put it like this, right? So Why did they stay there, bro? I have no clue. So we was at this. <laughs> I was going to oh, say, bro. like, what go, What happens yeah, out there? What, what do you do? Sound like they be cow tipping this <laughs> shit out there, bro. What the fuck is that? <laughs> a thousand people, bro. Bro, it's, it's small. Like, we hey, James. <laughs> Mark. <laughs> everybody know everybody. Look, heard, your, heard, your, heard your baby came out yesterday yeah. and shit. It's one of those things where, you know, when you're driving, if you see somebody, everybody in the car wave because yeah. they figure like, oh, you out here. I must know you or right. something That's like that. That's crazy. Right. So crazy thing was, right, we were there at this lodge um, that had like all the family members and everything mm-hmm. at, at this lodge. And so we get ready to, um, it's like late night, and we had a, a chef there catering food, but after a certain period of time, you know, ain't no food. Right. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of like on the late night tip, and some people were like, yeah, man, we, um, we about to go and get something to eat. And like I'm looking at them, like <laughs> Bro, where, where y'all going? <laughs> where at? You can't just go down the street and get some food, I right? Know. Like I bet y'all seen all the stars in that, didn't you? Oh, probably. I, so. I ain't really look up thing. to be honest uh, with all you. The stars but yeah, the stars. I was gonna say. I mean, once you get once you get the Covington. Oh, real talk. I'm glad you said. That. I'm gonna play y'all some hard crickets right. and shit. Like, yeah. I think that's the most beautiful thing about being in the country is it's looking up and seeing all the stars. So your boy pulled up somewhere right i'm gonna play this for y'all this what this what i heard oh god <laughs> hold on damn all right oops 
Hold it's on. All, it's all G. Why y'all? Why y'all trying to? Hey, hey, Jonathan, is Jesse gonna be at the softball game today? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I'm taking Caitlyn to the dance. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, you, I'm talking about like oh, yeah. bug out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know they what the tune out there. Yeah. <laughs> right. I don't know what they, what was going they harmonizing on. Harmonizing it. Yeah. Whatnot. All kind. Of, I'm talking about bugs. I ain't never heard of outside. Yeah, I hate the country. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's there's a peaceful part about, it, but I'm a city guy. Listen, and and I get it's almost too quiet. It's too quiet. It's, it's too quiet. quiet. If you are able to appreciate the tranquility of silence, that's on you, bro. But uh, I can't for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> I need to hear some. I need to hear some helicopters. It's quick. It's <laughs> right. I like. Yeah, I need to get, and shit every now and again some gunshots. Now, I'll say this right where I used to stay at off Metropolitan. I used to hear sirens all the time, and, and you know you get used to mm-hmm. it. You ain't even thinking of it. So when I moved where we at now, you know it don't hit you until you move, and I'm like something's missing. <laughs> no, like real, real talk though. I'm talking about like for probably about a good week. It took me about a good week, and then I'm just sitting at home. And I had, I think I went out to my car to get something. And I was just like, bro, I don't hear nothing. Right, right, right. Quiet. But air, I mean, you hear airplanes, but that you kind of get used to. But I'm like, nothing. Mm-hmm. And that was weird because, like, I'm, you know, Metropolitan, I'm going to hear a siren, like. At least twice a day. Twice at night, at least twice a night. Mm-hmm. And I mean, it ain't, nothing ain't got to be going on, well, but right, somebody but, going right. somewhere. <laughs> Somebody's going to the house. Yeah, I so. hate the catch. Yeah. It's it's definitely an experience though. It's, I'm talking about we done that with no phone service, damn, internet. Like imagine Sparse. you got forty people on this one Wi-Fi, nah. so you know everything's spotted. I'm just sitting there like communicating like a mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds, <laughs> Sounds miserable. Getting bro. them nineties vibes in, huh? <laughs> no, it was, yeah, has a good quality time. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was family, so it was kind of you know what That's I mean. Good. It was different, but but you could miss me with it having to bathe and uh oh no, it ain't Come repelling on. and shit. <laughs> no, no, it ain't like that. <laughs> Like they they got shit, that would have sounded like no 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 phone. no they got stuff out there but you know what I'm saying it's just in the middle of nowhere but y'all went fishing on some shit it was actually a lake at the lodge but I didn't I didn't go I didn't go fishing but it was you know hold on so your people stay out there though I'm still on this my aunt and uncle stay in Sparta yeah that's wild but they from the city like they I explained to y'all off camera why they oh. were out there I don't want to put them yeah but. Yeah. Uh-oh. I was gonna say oh, we shit. made them go out there, but okay. Yeah, that's I mean we'll it ain't nothing crazy, but I don't you know, I don't want people knowing my folks business yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, you. okay, okay. Yeah. But you know. Damn. That was my weekend. I DJed a wedding in a barn. Damn. <laughs> he just keep adding up. <laughs> right. I'm like, well, so what was it the cool? Like, did they have chairs or the judge? No, it was like, nice, hey, man. Shout out to my aunt. She did all the decorating for my cousin uh wedding. But it was everything was nice. Okay. It was it was super nice. Um but yeah, it was just you know, real yeah, rustic. Cool. Did you get pictures? I'm curious. I, I saw you see. a picture. I got a picture. I was. We had to pee in the outhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you going too deep with it? Stupid. It went like that. Yeah, it went like I can't that. Stand you, bro. That's one of them. We had to hang oh, our clothes so up on the wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it was like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want a barn wedding. Oh, that was nice. That was cute. Yeah, Steve just talking crazy. <laughs> Steve, what you do this week? Right. Man? man, you know, I live a simple Shit. life, man. Yeah, I, do, man. Yeah. I live a simple life, bro. Simple that's life. How, yeah, that's how I live, bro. Uh, you know. Nothing else. That's nothing it. Else. Average Joe Blow, man. So what, is the, what does that mean, simple life? Listen, bro, Joe it's nothing really to dive into, bro. Like, it's really? A, yeah. It's so simple. what you do? Like, what's, your, what's a typical day for Lingo Steve? Bro, you in my business. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's not that simple. Yeah, Maybe it's a little say, more say, man, hey, it's a real little simple life I live, man. Think. Hey, man, so what you do on a regular basis? Bro, you in my business. Like, hold on, what's going on? I tried to politely, like, deflect. <laughs> like, bro, you in my business, bro. Steve, you live a private life, man. I feel ain't that wrong with that, man. Yeah, you wanted a few people I know, like, you know, still keep keep things private in a good way <laughs> i mean you know i was trying to not say like not on social media but you know what i mean i get it and that's cool man i respect you for that man <laughs> appreciate it bro oh gee man oh gee it felt sincere but you know i don't know I, it was sincere man come on man oh, who oh, am man. i man come on who am i <laughs> who am i <laughs> you're right you're right oh oh i went to the coca-cola museum today with How my little girl. That's what's up, bro. I mean, like, <laughs> real talk, I've been there like several times right. and it doesn't change a lot. I was going to say, has it changed any? 
it might have because i my memory short on that the last time i went when it was here mm-hmm. i don't remember a lot of the stuff that it was this time i went but you know how it is like you people go to the coca-cola museum to get to the tasting yeah that's really the say, only really thing that there. shit trash yeah, I, I yeah. do. I do the little small. Start going over there to Europe and Africa and shit. You get like, that Beverly. They drinking this shit. Get that Beverly, in you. <laughs> bro. It's on sale, bro. <laughs> it's about to be a recall. <laughs> Ten years ago, they still selling this bullshit. Man. Hey, the ginger beer from Tanzania, pretty good. Though. They be try. They be trying to. They, I mean, them. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> but look, something interesting that I saw that I never paid attention to prior to that was what? like they showed the story of how Coca Cola came about with the cough syrup. Some, well, something like the, the, the crack. No, no. The inventor of it uh, forgot his name just that quick. Mm. Damn. But yeah, that's how I go. But he that's invented it. He only, Chris one year, he only. <laughs> yeah, facts. Yeah. <laughs> but he only sold like $50 of it in one year. And then this one guy came along who tasted it one time was like, yo, I like this. Let me buy the company from you. This that's might be a wow. hit. He brought the company for $2,300. Back in the day, though, you know, that's probably yeah. like maybe like a 20 piece. 20,000? Maybe. 2,300. What year? Don't give me the line. Oh, I can't. Okay. But it's poor. Yeah. But anyway, that guy <laughs> turned the company to, you know, what we know as Coca Cola. Now, the dude, last name Pepperton. Pep- Pepperton. Yeah. That guy. Oh, while we on that subject, did y'all know um, Hardy's and Carl's Jr. wasn't originally owned by the same person? It was two different people. No, I didn't know that. I know they are the same, though. They yeah. sell the same. Now so. they are. It was originally owned by two different people. And um, Hardy's, and bought, Hardy's bought out Carl, Carl's Jr., but kept it kept the name and the logo. And That's called they masking it. That's yeah. kind of like how rallies and checkers, checkers are. Checkers, right, right. They do the same thing, but it's two, two separate names. Right. X. So people, wherever they from, they want to... They don't feel different. Yeah, because when I went to New Orleans, I didn't know what the hell rallies was. Yeah. Just like White Castle and Crystals. Yeah, true. Not really, though. But I was going to say, I always heard White Castle's better. They look exactly the same. Yeah. Well, they are the same. But Carl's Jr. and and Hardy's are exactly the same. same. Right. Yeah. I don't really eat them, though. Oh, can't, I can't even tell you where Hardy's bro. at, yeah, bro. That like, that Hardy's oh, the only reason why I know is because, so where I work at, I'm usually in like McDonough and like Locust Grove. And apparently, oh, you Hardy's, down there, huh? No, nah, that explained it. Off real, Hard- bro. Hard- it, bro. <laughs> apparently, Hardy's be popping down there. Cause off I don't, real, I don't yeah. see yeah. Wendy's down there ever. I always see McDonald's and Hardy's. So no, I was like, damn, like, I ain't seen them forever. I know where one Hardy's at in the Metro Atlanta area, bro. Douglasville. No. This one, like, in Sandy Springs, I remember, like, a place oh, I used to yeah. work at. I used to pass by it every day. Well, but I couldn't tell you, like, right now, if you told me, like, bro, let's go to Hardy's, well, I'd be know, like, used to be one let on, me get the app. Um, they got one on Thornton Road. It's one on Thornton? Right by the Walmart. I just seen it. Okay. Well, that would probably that be the, okay. Been, like, close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they ain't down here. No, no. It you see a Carl Jr. down here, you... <laughs> Probably ago. selling dope. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a front because he was supposed to be down here. Uh, he ain't, ain't around these poles. No, not not at all. Not at all. Yeah. I don't, I, don't, I don't recall every last time I had some goddamn Hardys, bro. When you on the road with us, we went to Hardys. When was that? <laughs> wow. Seriously. I mean, I can't even. I can't even. I don't yeah, have exactly, no comeback, bro. Like, I don't exactly, have no comeback. I'm trying to think where we were headed. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bro. Yeah, because remember, we went there and the line was like super long. When was that? I can't remember what we were headed. That's all I said, bro. I can't remember last time I had some parties, bro. It was a while ago because it was trash. I remember that. It wasn't good at all. It wasn't good at all. It's awful. Just don't do it. Mm-hmm. It's been. Just don't do it. Hey. What up? So. I be um uh, lately I've seen like a, a few Atlanta artists like they be on platforms and interviews and stuff like that, mm-hmm. and they all talk like they might be the most. <laughs> you pa- you, you right? passed one, bro. Uh, it might be an upper lip again, bro. No, <laughs> no, no. You spe- no, I'm not tripping. Oh, I don't. Oh, H. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I was finna hit you with the you smelt that you dealt it, motherfucker. Like, no, <laughs> I'm not yeah, I'm like, like, hold mm-hmm. on, man. Somebody here farting again. But why do the, like the most flamboyant people have trouble talking on air and interviews and stuff like that? You I notice no, that? I do notice that. Like, except for two chains. They like, oh yeah, two chains. <laughs> two chains is yeah. Wait, what do you mean by that? 
I don't know how to speak, bro. Oh, like, okay, I'm I saying, like, <laughs> at all. Like, they can't open their damn mouth. Yeah, no, nah, mm. they don't know how to speak, bro. Like, they don't know how to put articulate you know articulate their thoughts. And, uh, you know what I'm saying? 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 Like, and, um, 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 yeah, you know what I'm like saying? Like, when they use ad libs as answers. That might even be better if they could do that. <laughs> now, I've seen some bad interviews where it's like on some. And everybody don't have to take a public speaking class, but it's kind of like right. having a conversation shouldn't be that hard. You can tell that people right. are either used to being on their phones a lot, something. And I look at comments, you know, people be like, well, uh, it could be the drugs or this, that, and the third. Bro, I don't know a lot that. of people take drugs and are functioning out here, bro. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> you can speak. <laughs> yeah, you can speak, bro. Like, on the lean or whatever, bro. They, they're functioning, right. bro. Like, right. Do y'all think people should really. Especially now, consider taking media training classes. Thanks. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, thanks. if you're gonna be on the media, if, right. you know what I mean. If you're going to an interview, you should know how to conduct yourself in the interview. Right. Or if you're not, like for example, trouble. Huh. I love trouble interviews. What? <laughs> but I know that trouble is big. like to me. Trouble is equivalent oh, to Vince Staples. Sorry. Like how they are so candid in interviews. They're just being exactly who they are. You feel me? <laughs> Bro, they are like my two favorite people to even watch on but interviews, bro. They're like, being who they are. And yeah. it's like... Yeah, Vince is funny as shit. I can't... If Trouble was to, to sound different, I know he planned. Yeah. And they'll still be funny to me. You know what I mean? But he could talk. Yeah, I mean, no. Just, he clearly can get his point across. You yeah. just got to know the lingo. You got to use your context clues. Exactly. <laughs> In order exactly. to get... Trouble. Trouble. When you listen to him, you got to use your context clue. Because if you ain't from around the way... You'll get you lost, lost in the translation. Yeah. I just watched him on um, with Angela Yee. Lip service. Lip service, yeah. He just kept saying it. Like, what did he say? Eddie, snack, snack. You know, she looked like snack or Little snack. Yeah, I had to really listen. You too? But I ain't like the big girl, whoever she is, uh, that was sitting next to him. She ain't kind of heavy set, bro. She ain't got that. <laughs> Compared to Yee. Yeah, she to the rest of us, she, she ain't slim. <laughs> I forgot her name. L'Oreal, she ain't slim. I don't know about thick, bro. Like she got them <laughs> chubby, bro. Yeah, <laughs> there's a say, there's bro. a fine line. It's coming from a fat nigga, there's bro. A, she chubby, bro. There's a <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are we talking about, bro? <laughs> I wouldn't know, bro. <laughs> he kept it all the way a hundred, yeah, bro. Oh, bro. It'll, she was like kind of like making fun of it, but. I felt like she was corny for doing that shit just because she didn't understand, bro. Mm-hmm. Right, 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 right. You couldn't put shit together, so now you got them. She was trying to clown him? Yeah, she low key called that nigga a coon uh, towards the end of the uh, she show. Did. She, she did. She did, and you heard she it? Did. Yeah, I heard it. Because when you said that at first, I didn't get to that part. Oh, and then okay. I heard it. I was like, oh, wow. But she yeah. called that nigga a coon. Is this a recent bro. one? Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to like check this one, one out. Last, one of her last episodes. She called Holmes a coon, bro, but he really, ain't, he really dropped knowledge. Like he dropped some knowledge, it. you know what I'm saying? You yeah. just got to catch it. Yeah, she like, just you know missed it. But I'm not talking. I'm not even talking about that. Like I, I'm gonna call a couple of them out. Corn, I Rich remember Homer Corn. Corn. Yeah, he was on the Breakfast Club like a couple years ago, right? And they asked him, did he used to play sports or whatnot? He said, yeah, I played baseball. Oh yeah. The fuck are we talking about, bro? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I was gonna say some people and they don't get out of it. And the people that they hang with talk just I play like baseball. that. Okay, um uh, I'm gonna throw another one. A little baby so, too. Yeah, this is a little person, the baby. I slick no bro. You see what I'm saying? Like we went to school together and shit like that. Holmes can have a conversation without sounding like that, bro. Like <laughs> he got up there, he couldn't really put it together, bro. You see what I'm saying? I think it was a couple weeks ago. You know, when you get around white people. True. That's true. true. That's true. They nervous. Nervous. Thinking yeah. too much. Right. That's true. But it always seems like it's just Atlanta artists, bro. That's true. It is well, always guess Atlanta I, artists. Why? Well, I, I, I guess Chief I. Keith, Chief Keith was the same way. That nigga's a terrible. But see, for real. That yeah. Chief Keith. I'm gonna say this though. It's good. We winning right now too. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. Hey, but that's why we always seeing that we winning right now. That's but, right. but Chief Keith, though, the interview that I saw with him reminded me of Kodak Black, where I can tell they ain't Yo. used to being in front of the camera yeah, and they on some like awful. 
some people really about their life and you can and you can tell by their actions and i feel like chief keith one of them dudes where like i'm i'm i, I grew up knowing that we don't get in front of cameras like that and you know we don't want to indict ourselves so we kind of watch what we say and don't and it comes off as we don't say nothing well little baby like that too though but i'm saying damn i tried i was starting to watch that on my way over here i know bro can talk though that's all i'm trying yeah, to say like it's a little personal that's all good <laughs> I mean, I feel yeah, yeah. Like, but when you watch it, you be like, that wasn't the best res- representation. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like, I just don't like to get together. And I feel like it's up to somebody like P or Coach K, anybody like you got to sit them folks down and be like, yo. Well, P ain't the best speaker. He can't talk neither. Yeah, but he doesn't have to talk though. True. And he's the owner, bro. Like, you, this is your product. At the end of the day, I mean, I, I feel don't, you. You know, call them like that, but right, that, right. That's, I mean, that, no, that it is what it is. This bro. is his product, bro. Yeah, right. Like, this is your product. They representation of QC. You know what I'm saying? Like, you want the best representation, so that in particular won't be a turnoff for any newcomer artists or right. uh, I'm not artists fans or whatever yeah. the case may be. You see what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. It, I, I've never been a fan of not being able to clearly articulate yourself on the interview. It's always funny to me when I see artists who just own the interview and you, and you can tell that it is a reflection of the company because it comes back to like, did anybody do this, a, a mock interview or something? Like, have you ever sat down with your artists and talked to them besides right, right. in a party environment? It's a business control, right. like run your business, bro. Right. Like, it's yeah. part of the you business, You gotta know bro. what you're putting out. Like, right, right, you, you gotta, gotta know, know what, what you're putting, putting out. out. Yeah, like, like, that's something you prepare for. Like, singers gonna have vocal coaches, bro. And goddamn, like, that's what you, it's part of the package. Yeah. It's part of media training. Yeah. You gotta know how to answer questions. Like, well, right. you know, I, I understand public speaking is like people's biggest fear, but they got to be over there. They make music. I mean, you stand in front of thousands of people. Now, I will say this though, Steve, um, and it's something that that I learned on a personal level is that sometimes we do things so well we don't realize how difficult it is for other people. And that's true. Because stuff that comes to us like naturally, right. like you got to give a gal for speaking. So I don't talk the best. Let me tell it. But still, though, you can still articulate yourself. You still not someone get a point not gonna across. be asking you, huh? Like academics, right? Was taking talking right. to take off. That was huh. crazy, huh? Huh? You well, part of what'd, you you what'd you say? Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> what'd you mean? Like, part like, of like, huh? <laughs> Nah, huh? it's <laughs> happened to me before. Like I can get the rambling and get the talking fast. The talking and, fast. And, 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 and That's the Atlanta thing, though. And, yeah, yeah, and saying my shit and niggas be like, huh? And then I get an attitude like, no man, <laughs> like, or something like that. Yeah, but I don't have to pull out a dictionary and try That's to true. record you and decipher true. what the hell you're saying. Like, <laughs> decipher. Yeah. Yeah, like, you had to do it. You had that. to do it for Ti. <laughs> <laughs> no bullshit. Hey. Tip, have you pulling that shit out, bro? Like you be straight on the Webster. Like what hey. the fuck they gonna say? Tip, Tip clearly articulate his, his his words, but Tip, Tip is the hood dude that was always reading the dictionary, right? Like you can tell, Tip was on the block, but he know his words. Like he, you, it's the guy you wanted for your. your it's like he wanted show. to be able to articulate things, so he didn't sound ignorant as hell. Right, right. Like you couldn't be like, you don't even know what that means. But the part that that hurts it for Ti is that when he talks that way, he slows down, and so you hear every one of those words that he says, and you it's hear like all the syllables and everything, bro. It's so <laughs> like he practiced before he said it. <laughs> now that's true too. I mean, I ain't never had a, a conversation, well, not a lengthy one, conversation yeah. with T.I., but uh, he don't really talk like that on a regular. Like, he'll, yeah, throw, those, say, he'll he, throw those words out of shit, but right. he don't That's really, for interviews, bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, those are facts. Those yeah, are for yeah. interviews. Like you say, he slow down. Yeah. Like, yeah. Could that nigga talk fast to hell, too? I, didn't, I haven't had a lengthy conversation with him, but the conversation I did have, it was, it was interesting and funny as hell, but he didn't. Like you said, it's for interviews. He didn't pull out. Pull out. I didn't have to pull out my dictionary. Oh, hey. that's just something that bothered me, though. Speaking of Ti, though, like you know, I was on this long road trip. I've been listening to his catalog for the past couple of days. Mm-hmm. They got in. They got under your skin last week, didn't they? What happened? When they were talking about when they were talking about Ti, I got down. Uh, Ti ain't the lyrics is like air. you know something. I think I skin. think subconsciously so, that happened because I was like, why am I listening? All that probably what it was, but um, that was something to show. Later on, yeah, but um, I got up to T T I versus T I P, and I'll personally say 
so far that's his worst project. I didn't like Urban Legend too much, and that's just because of coming off of Trap Music was the album that I love so much. So it was a letdown for me coming off of Trap Music. If that would have came before Trap Music, I would have been like, okay, yeah, I liked it. But coming off of Trap Music, I was like, uh, it's cool, but I ain't like everything. But when King came on, that's when T.I. found his groove rapping-wise. Like, he, he switched his style completely up on King. And I, that's as far as I got. I got to go back and listen to everything else. Mm-hmm. But T.I. don't have, because I'm, I'm listening to him now, that song I, I told you about. I ain't like it. You ain't like it? Okay, well, whatever. Um, <laughs> I like it. T.I. got a song. Away, he, got a song he got a song with Rhapsody. Okay. But I was listening to his flow there versus his flow when he first started. I ain't like the song, bro. The song. The song. I okay. mean, whole, just like, I mean, that's your not opinion. necessarily like him rapping. Okay. I ain't like neither one of their verses. Mm. That's cool. Or the construction of the whole song. That's cool. What was <clears> that? I swallowed, <laughs> I swallowed a piece of ice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just looking at his flow pattern completely, which that's good, you know, the progression of Right. It, but just shift it from I'm serious up until where he's at now. Dime trap that ain't came out yet that we still waiting on. I think Urban Legend was the breakout. It was the who? The, the breakout? breakout uh, um Bring Him Out was the record that okay. So for T I 24s was the record that brought him back to the hood. Rubber Band Man was the record where people like, I remember seeing that video and Diddy being in the video and was like, yo, they finally recognized T.I. Right, right. When Bring Em Out came out, I was like, yo, you got Swiss Beats on the production and he got a Jay-Z sample. I was like, right. that's the record that, oh, he really here now. Right. That was the cat- That was the, the one. Catalyst. That was the record that's like, Oh, T.I. ain't just no Atlanta rapper. Like, he really is a big-time rapper. Right. But we all know the record that, like, he'll be getting paid off for the rest of his life. What you know? When that came out. Oh, yeah. Damn, I forgot about that. Yeah. That was on King. I'm talking about. That's true. T.I., that, that little run right there, T.I. had, like, the setup of the century, bro. Like, King album, ATL movie coming yeah. out, What You Know being a big um, record. You say he's going to be getting paid by that for his whole life. That's, like, that's one of his, if not his biggest record, one of his biggest records to date. Like, chart-wise, what we're talking about. Uh, oh, now, what, what about, about that like? Live Your Life? That's, oh, yeah, those, that was probably his top three. If I'm looking at it, like, album sales-wise. Oh, what about that big shit piping? It didn't do, like, no. Yeah. Yeah, but that didn't. What you mean do that? It didn't. No, I'm talking about chart-wise. Chart wise. It didn't do what What You Know oh, did. They still play that at the stadiums and shit. Look up that What You Know. Them numbers just I don't say I hit bring them out in the club all the time. Well, yeah, not, I mean, not like I go all the time, but when I what do you say, you don't, you don't, okay, now you're trying to pull back now. Hold no, because I mean, I don't, but whenever I do go to the club, <laughs> shut I hear that all the time. <laughs> I mean, when I do go, no, like when I do go to the club, that's one of the records that's like, I hear it sound like somebody just got a job. <laughs> Look, she sounded like somebody who just got a job, but she told him at the interview, yeah, I don't really go out like that. Let me, let me pull I back. Pull back I don't, but when I do, I definitely hear that record. Like, Mm-hmm. 99% of the time when sure. I go out. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that my money bag. Yo. Mm-hmm. Now, I remember when I first heard that record. Was you there for that? When you there? When what? I don't know if you were there for that. That was in Augusta. Were you with us in Augusta? Yeah. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Okay. Whatever. That was the first time you heard it. Yeah, that definitely was the first time I heard it. I like money bag, man. I thought he was older than what he is, but I like money bag. How old is he? 26. <laughs> no, I thought he was a thirty year old, bro. Bro, he look old, bro. Life comes at you fast. <laughs> he look like who? Michael Myers. Like he said that shit around too. I think. Oh, for real. Life comes at you fast, bro. He look older though. Hey, you know. hey okay, so Steve, you like mid twenties, right? I'm twenty six. Twenty six. You saying how? Oh, shit, I'm lying. How old are you, 27? Yeah. 27. I'm oh, yeah, your like, birthday, your birthday, uh, yes, <laughs> your birthday, February 14th for something like yeah, that. Yeah, February 14th. Yeah, he's a Valentine's Day baby. <laughs> you slick <laughs> try to act like he hear that. He it's did. all cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. But um, have y'all seen people that went to high school with y'all and they look like extremely old now? Yes, yes, I have all the time. <laughs> 
How was that experience time. for y'all? I'm like, I'm like, got, I got like six years on y'all, so it's. Um, for me, it's it's <laughs> Shut up, it's weird because <laughs> I have people that I went to school with that got like two and like three kids, and they got like a whole other life, and mm. it's it's um it's interesting. I I don't. I don't knock it. It's just not for me. It's mm. it's interesting though, and some of them look really good, and some of them you can just tell like they they look they look about thirty, and four years is a it was a really large gap to look like. I would not want to look thirty <laughs> <laughs> if I'm not. <laughs> just so yeah, ain't lying right it's now. um it's interesting to see it. Very interesting. Stephen, I mean. <clears throat> Life comes at you fast. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, bro. Life comes at you fast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah no, yeah. it just—I mean, man, my pops used to tell me that, like, you're gonna see some people, man, like, they gonna look extremely old, lady. You're gonna see some people you ain't seen in a long time. But I ain't gonna lie to you, somebody who just like basically got a newborn, it's it's crazy when I be on Facebook and I see some people I went to school with and that like they legit got like a 16 year old. And I'm thinking, like, man, I'm just starting. And they got, like, two Wrong years. Kids. You know what I'm saying? They got, like, they got a legit, almost, like, a young adult. Right, right. That jumped wild Imagine to me, how man. I'm going to feel. No, you had a good age, though. Yeah, but, I mean, by the time I really consider having kids actually have a child, oh, they're going to have full-ass adults. Hey. Babysitting my kids. Like, <laughs> They come, they come. Right. You on T.I. catalog yeah, or yeah, something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Oh, and for the record, um, number one, the, the, his best record to date, whatever you like, number one. Number two is Live Your Life, and number three is What You Know. Those are his top three records. Makes sense. I got down shoulder lean, man. Come on, man. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't think that was his whole joint. Bro, you know damn why I know that's the one heart, bro. Look, he don't call that the government. <laughs> you know damn why I know it's the one heart, but he got hey, vocals Chip, on hey, that, bro. Chip went I'm off on that uh, shoulder lean, though. He got vocals on that. He ain't the only thing. He had a verse? No, he, he just verse. hooked. Bounce yeah, to the left and watch the shoulder lean. He part of the song, bro. Shoulder lean. Shoulder it get, get it right. Two step, step and make it show. Man, damn well no, I know the one hey, hard. That was real talk though. He that gonna hit me joke. with it. Dro, Dro come with one like every couple years though. Like for real, for real. He really come with it. Hey man. Hey. We be in the city. city. <laughs> hey. All my niggas. Hey. He got a he got he got a he, he ain't got no root. Yeah, he got a little bit of 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 a joint. Wait, See, see he one of the people he just don't really care about this shit, bro. Yeah. He never cares. Both of them said like he he lazy at times, bro. Like he just I don't care about this shit, bro. Man, I just you know, man, you know what I'm saying, man. I just give me, I, I give you one, man. I give you one, then I go out there. <laughs> T I keep trying to tell me I gotta go around, man. Do you know what I'm saying? I just be out there, I do, I do. They gonna be like, shit, it's about time for another one. That's it. That we in the city though. That record that hard. I remember I first heard that. Yeah. I mean, but he he the type of rapper. All he need is a record, and he'll go okay, and do, do you know do the shit. little run, mm-hmm. do the chilling circuit, pick up pick up nice little bag. Twenty thirty, easy. That ain't no bad life. Shit, that, yeah, that is that, bro. It's not that, for bro. one bop. It ain't for everybody, bro. No, like, it ain't for yeah. To be in the spotlight all the time, right. you know what I'm saying? Right, shit. like he can still walk around. Ain't nobody gonna bother him like that. Give me a twenty thirty, goddamn four times out the week for a year. Right. I sack <laughs> operation I'll take sack. It. Wow. <laughs> See, the problem is the rappers be getting and spending as soon as they get it because they be thinking ain't buying no jewelry in them, bro. Right. Like, yeah. They're straight stacked. <laughs> oh, Mike you, slapped me in the you face. Got, you saw that? <laughs> Mike said, You can't talk no more. Nigga, <laughs> 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 they got a salt in front of me. Mike said, You can't talk no more. Nigga, they got a salt in Stupid. And if my black looked at the he looked at the camera, got that old oh, shit. <laughs> you know what we got next, Cheyenne? Um, Mm-mm. no, because so, okay. we wanted to talk about the royal wedding that oh, Steve didn't okay. see. It's all G. No, nah, but um, no, I we thought it was the, beautiful. Yeah. What What was the best part? Um, I like the end of it. The end. Of I always it. like the end of weddings. I like because I feel like there's so much pressure in the beginning and. Your mind's kind of just racing, seeing all the people there. And then right, right. at the end, it's like you're calm. 
it's over with you said your vows and now y'all can just go be yourselves so i like i like the end of it all the pictures that were taken afterwards it was beautiful hey real question um when did that become like a big thing <laughs> you know what i hey, I'm, really I'm no i swear to god i didn't even know there was a thing until the la- the the prince his brother got married like years ago like 2000 yeah yeah that was the first one yeah that, that was I the first one i was like, like why I'm trying to figure out why we care about. I mean, the fact that it was split screen on like <clears throat> CNN and like no, Good Morning like, America. Oh, well, that's I was a big like, thing, why dude. is this? I didn't think this was that important. I, I, don't, know, I don't know why y'all care. <laughs> oh, okay. This guy right here. I care. To... Well, I don't care, but I seen it on Instagram. So that's how, you know, you kind of just be forced to look at shit. But... So uh, shout out to Coop. He put this on. Uh, it was a meme he put up on Facebook. It said something to think about. So one week, many sisters are straight killing Donald Glover online because his, the child, his child's mother is white. And the next week, them same sisters um, are back <laughs> talking about yes. Right. <laughs> and yes mode for uh, Meghan Markle's wedding. Right. Gotta love the hypocrisy. Can we talk about that? Absolutely. I wanted to get into that. That's one of the reasons why I want to bring up the world. Okay. Wedding. But it was beautiful. So I, I, and I liked looking at it on Instagram. Mm. But I did want to talk about that because just last week, you know, we had the discussion, can you date outside your race being pro-black? And if mm. anyone has ever paid attention to her, she has been, she is a activist of women's equality and okay. racism. So I would definitely want to get into that. Well, I mean, cool. I mean, you can lead it because, like, honestly, I didn't, I don't keep up with this stuff. Like, mm-hmm. so when I kept seeing the girl name and I was like, oh, who is that? Yeah. I really don't know who she is. Well, she's done a lot of activism. Um, she, um... It was funny. I watched this clip of her doing like a Nick News special where she watched this commercial about Ivory kind of just saying uh, about women being in the house and women Mm. cleaning and what they shouldn't do. And so she wrote a letter and they ended up changing um, the words in the commercial to people across America instead of women across America. Hold on. What was the commercial? So the commercial was about it was a dishwash, a dish liquid um, commercial. And basically, it started off with, like, well, women all across the world are fighting Greece. And it became, that was the main, like, punchline. Oh, so okay. she felt like, you know, I felt like that was the grading. I think she was about 12 at the time. That was degrading. She was 12 years old? Mm-hmm. Um, she was saying it's degrading. Sound I like think they've been saying her up to be the Duchess. No, right. I'm like, Hold on, how you, at twelve, she, she felt was, like this at twelve. Right. She was like, I wow. feel like it was degrading. Like that's all that women are good for is being in the house and being in the kitchen. So she wrote a letter to Procter and Gamble, and a few weeks later, they ended up changing the words in the commercial to "People across the world are fighting Greece wow. or whatever the hell." So I thought it was just interesting, um, just seeing how that dynamic of her wa- marrying a white a white man mm. played out and how everybody's like oh yeah that's you know that's what's up you know the whole black people making history because there's a black woman in the yeah, yeah, in that. the kingdom and all of this shit and i'm like we were just giving flack to donald glover about him being with a white woman i don't know man it's, i mean me personally I'm like man you know marry who you want to marry like you know they you love that person you love that person whatever but I don't know. It's it's always weird to me because that happens often. Not even talking about this big platform. Like you can just be in circles, right? And be around like black people. How we look when, and this is even for like for I mean not for all dudes, but even some dudes. Like if I see a dude with a black guy with a white girl, it don't bother me. Even if I see a a black girl with a white guy, mm-hmm. it don't bother me either. Mm-hmm. But I know that on the flip side, and, and honestly, I don't want to categorize, but it seems like mainly women have the issue most of the time that that it, that I've encountered. Mm-hmm. That it's like, why he talking to a, you know why he talking to a white girl or whatever, and then it's like on some. The flip side of that is always that same reaction. It was like, well, not even knowing that situation, it'd be like, well, obviously the brothers weren't doing the right, so she had to go and get a white man. Right. I don't blame. Right, her. I was gonna and say was that's like, usually the first, you know I mean? the first response that people have to that. It's I don't know. So it's a, a double. Dynamic. It's a double standard. I like for men and women. I think we're always gonna have a double standard for specific things for men and women. That's one large one. I don't think as men, I don't think it's ever gonna be a. Well, it's always going to be an issue if you all date outside your race. Mm-hmm. Whereas a woman can do that, and it's like, oh, okay, well, like you said, the man didn't do it right. 
or I don't know whatever it is. What I take from this is we got to learn how to start writing letters, Steve. <laughs> right. We got to learn how to writing start letters. Yeah. Yep. What? She wrote a letter at twelve, bro, and got Procter and Gamble to change their whole marketing campaign. Steve don't care about none of this. No. Nope. Steve, you got to introduce he's, the topic. You're gonna be awesome. sit up here and be quiet. And, Industry plant, bro. At twelve, bro. You like you say, bro. She gonna be a duchess, bro. At twelve, yeah, bro. They yeah. knew, bro. They already knew what was going yeah, on. They was already grooming her, bro. They were grooming. Her. I don't know. I'm just talking shit. <laughs> <laughs> right. It's all. It's all like you. You knew what you were talking about yeah, for a second. <laughs> right. Well, her mother's black. She has. Um, her mother's from? black. California, if I'm not mistaken. Hey, so how they meet? Oh, I never got her that story. I didn't get that story either. I was Wikipedia in that bitch out, and I couldn't find none. About how the mother and father met. I know uh, the the father is of like Irish and Dutch descent. No, no, I mean, mistaken. how did Megan meet? Oh, so what happened was, um, one of their mutual friends set them up on a blind date. Interesting. Mm-hmm. That's how that happened. So is he, he? He's the prince. Yes. Yeah. I'm just set you up with this prince ring. That don't seem. Yeah, that seemed kind of weird, right? Right. Like, who is her friend to set that up? Hey, they never Wikipedia. And never I need a friend, a friend like that. Right. That dude Can I get a weird. friend that knows somebody? Hey, but let's. <laughs> now you'd be surprised. Bro, you'd be surprised. That's a life altered decision, bro. Like I'm finna, I'm finna come up in this world if I got yeah, damn she fuck had, with she, this prince. She she retired from acting. She did seven seasons of Suits you and think? retired. From, yeah. Well, <laughs> as as the Duchess, <laughs> as the Duchess, she had to retire. From oh, they acting. can't work. Hmm. They can't work. They have to stay away from polit- political. Like, so hold on. So she reasons. wrote a letter. <laughs> okay. <Hold> okay. <laughs> yep. We all are we all? Yep. Are we live? Are we live? We live. <laughs> we are live. Is this shit. live? <laughs> that's, Can y'all that, hear me? That's interesting. Yep. So she was campaigning about what people instead of women. Yeah. But she about to go Sorry. do the same thing for the most part. It's, besides, she ain't gonna have no you no know, chores and no shit like right. that. You know, that's interesting. But I'm saying you campaigning for something that you like. Well, I mean, she was 12, so I ain't gonna hold too much weight on it. But let's really get to the meat of the conversation. No, nah, I want to know. You feel me? Like, no, I, I'm well, with you. I'm with you. But this is the part that I'm. <laughs> I would have think should have been the goddamn saying like, no, I'm a act- and then, okay. I'm an actor or or, or I do I do what I, I want to do as right. a woman type right. shit. You right, 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 right. So this morning I was that money at, get thrown um, in. I, I was looking at nah, talk at about um <laughs> one of them shows that come on in the morning. I don't know what it is. Like early morning, like them eight nine o'clock shows. Yeah, yeah. And they were saying she walked down the aisle by herself. No, she didn't. Well, they said on one like she walked in. I saw a video for she. Well, she walked in by herself, and then as she entered the church, she walked in with uh, Prince Charles. Prince Charles. Mm -hmm. So they said that she walked in by herself to, and I don't know if this was just the the commentator just gassing it or what, but she walked in to show like that she was strong and proud, and that she could do hold her own weight, and she didn't need her father. Who the fuck else is she gonna walk into the church with if it was just her and her mother in the? No, her father wasn't there. Her father wasn't there. He wasn't there. He didn't. The well, her her dad white. Be? Her dad white though, right? Yeah. Her yeah, her dad. Was, her white. dad wasn't there. Period. That's why. Uh, Look at those roles reverse, ain't it? H had, see that? H had his popcorn. Bro. You woke <laughs> up at five. You woke up at five and watched it. H had his popcorn. Bro. Right. Let me look this up because I didn't see none of that. Mm. Mm. Got you, got you, got you. Interesting. That's real interesting. Let me see because I don't think I've seen none of these bitches. Yeah. So I want to get to the part that threw me off about the whole situation that really threw me off about the whole situation is that old boy had two ex-girlfriends show up to the wedding. Yeah, that was that was a lot. Prince Charles. I get is it Prince Charles? Mm, I don't know. No, had, his name is Prince Harry. Prince Harry. Oh, Harry. Okay. Yeah, Charles is Charles is the father. Prince William is the first prince, the oldest, and then Prince Harry is the second. Okay. Yeah. 
So am, I, am, am I wrong for not knowing this? No, no, bro, okay. I don't. I, man, no, I'm sh- don't only person I know is Queen Elizabeth okay. and Princess Diana. But Princess okay. Diana died. Right. She no, married into the family, though, right? Yeah, she yeah. Is, yeah. Okay. That was Prince. Who? Who? That's that was Prince. That's whose parents those are. Uh, Prince Charles and Prince Diana are. So why is this a big thing for America, though? I don't know, bro. I don't that's know. what I, I want to know. They, I don't know. That's they what have, I'm they have about. royal weddings in every country, bro. Like what the fuck? Okay, so you know what was okay, funny? Somebody crazy. gave Charlemagne the guy slack because he posted that same day another royal couple getting married. And they were. Fully black couple, mm-hmm. and they felt they they was like catch, giving him slack on some like why you can't let these people have their day, and he was like, "Nigga, I just posted royalty today, like right, that's right. cool, and this is cool too." Like, I never understood that. I mean, and, you know, I haven't did the research either to be honest with you, but I want to know like what's what's the hype about it? Yeah, I don't get it. I mean, we got people that like legit flew over there to I go mean, to the wedding. I want to see hype like that when the queen dies. Not that I'm, I mean, shit, she ninety two. But yeah, I'm saying I'm, what, like what queen you talking about? Queen Elizabeth. Oh, oh yeah, that's definitely gonna happen. That's definitely gonna happen. But I'm happen. saying like that's something to Is like, it though? Like is that any of our business? I mean that's it's not our business. I mean I'm this like how they watch the election. True. They watch the election over here. But that's over more there. that's but that know? affects them in a sense. Too, how though. you know that? They do. How you, you never know see that, them bro? when they pan over bro. to the to the cameras in different countries and shit? No. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I, got time I think that do be on CNN. I've seen a clip of that on CNN. But what I'm saying, that may might be on CNN, but how she know they watch it? What? I'm, I'm saying, saying CNN is worldwide news. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, like, but I'm, but saying, I'm saying, saying that show a clip of people watching like the election in, in the little countries. corner of the screen. Oh, okay. That's oh, what right. that, that to me that made more sense. <laughs> what the fuck? Steve, Yo, he, get he, the he fuck out of here. He trolled <laughs> But that makes more Low sense because we're talking about politics, where like everybody in the world. Looking at what's going on in the U.S., but I don't see why we looking to see what's going on in the world. Well, I think everybody care about something they shouldn't. So, oh yeah, that's that goes talk about that goes to show how much America pays attention to shit. Hey man, no, I was about to say something that was gonna get us thrown off. Go ahead, you want to say it? No, it was inappropriate. You look like you want to say it. No, it was inappropriate. Just say it. No, no, I, I don't want to say. <laughs> no, I'm saying I don't want to say. Shouldn't even it. mention it, bro. I hate when people do that, bro. Bro, say what you just hate me for the day, dude. I'm so grown, bro. Yeah, don't make me say that. Hate me for the day, dude. Peer pressure, peer pressure, bro. I'm 33, bro. You feel the peer pressure? Peer pressure. I want to say. He gave us a lie. I'm not fucking saying it. So stop asking me. He looked at me and was like, I'm not, I'm not saying it. I thought I had him, bro. No, I thought that was my ace in the hole. And I was like, just say he looked at me like. I thought that was my ace in the hole. <laughs> Still not fucking saying it. <laughs> shout out, shout anyway, out, shout out the good for no peer pressure. <laughs> no, 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 man. Peer pressure is like ten toes. It's, it's overrated, man. People it shouldn't really, be really influenced by their peers, even though they are. I ain't trying to, you know, but still. To an extent, you should be. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Kind of, you know, live your own life, man. Do what right. you want to do. Shame, well, man. Ray What's J up? say, "Love who you want to love." <laughs> who said that? Ray J. Yo, that was the most infamous. Interview that man when, ever what did. What is that? What, what are you talking about? When he when he got into that stiff with uh, oh, fabulous, fabulous and they called one, to though. the Breakfast Club. That I still, shit. I still watch that shit to this day. Me too. I watch it just one, for shits and giggles. He definitely was on. You one. know, I mean, love who you want to love, be who you want to be <laughs> like. But you know, <laughs> yeah, man, he got two Rolls Royces outside. He got an indoor court and an outdoor, and an court. outdoor, <laughs> outdoor court. court. <laughs> I still watch that shit, bro. Them drugs. What that boy, uh, Rich? Hey, cocaine, cocaine is a hell of a drug. drug. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> that nigga was geek, boy. Hey, bro, shit. hold on, man. We tripping, man. Speak on it. What, do anybody know what today is? Today's twenty. H. What's today? Oh, yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Hey, my man. Bad. Come on, man. I totally fucked that up. I mean, I. Sh- this I want to make King, sure. King of New York himself. King of New York. <laughs> no, hey, man, rest in peace to uh, Biggie Smalls, a.k.a. the Notorious indeed, B.I.G. Indeed. I pour one up for him. <laughs> you going to pour one anyway. Hey, man, listen. <laughs> this, this one is specifically Call it for like him. you see it. Call it like you see it. <laughs> pour one for Big Big Pop. What you got pop. over there? I ain't never get the introduction. What you oh, got? It's, it's, um, it's a combination. It's a combination. It's Cabernet and Merlot, also known as Cabernet and Merlot. So like real spill when she um said that earlier, I low key thought she just mixed those on her own. He thought I was being real niggerish, basically. And then I saw I saw the label and I was like, oh, it's a whole thing, it's a whole vibe. That's what's up. I see what's going on. Yep. You so you know. what you you drink more wine or more Jack? Mm. Mm. Think about it. 
Or Jameson. Yeah. It just depends. Um, When I'm, like, chilling, like, when I'm at home for real. I really wanted some yesterday. But when I'm at home, I like to drink just wine. Just wine at home. But um, if I'm out and about, yeah, I'm definitely hitting with some Jack. So you get that Jameson. wine at home, kind of get relaxed, yeah, laid I'm back, Yeah, I'm, like, chill, chilling. I'm cleaning the house, cooking. You got the big glass of wine. Like, you know, you do the one with the joint like this right here. You oh, hold, oh, oh, you yes. got a flute. What you got? Well, I have several kinds. Okay, see, um, let's talk about this wine so, glass game. You got. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I normally drink. Red wine. That's kind of just my thing. Okay, okay. If you if eat I'm, fish and too and all that with that red wine, huh? No. Okay, actually, you pairing it I'm, the right yeah, way? Actually, if I'm, okay. if I'm having fish or seafood, I will do a white wine. Well, you better talk Typically about it. Typically a Pinot Grigio, maybe a Chardonnay. I just kind of started liking Chardonnay because <clears> it's dry. Excuse me. Uh, part right. of me. <laughs> I part <laughs> of your fucking <laughs> part. <laughs> excuse the fuck I out bet, of me. Yeah. <laughs> so this ain't just no... But, uh, <laughs> but if I'm at home and I'm just chilling yeah. and I'm like meal prepping for the week, then I'll, I'll definitely pour up some red. And it's usually Merlot because that's kind of like my favorite. Cabernet's a little more dry than that, but oh, she Merlot talking to wine is language. my... Fine. You can tell well, like people really about too. that wine life, though, and the people who ain't. The people that ain't, the first thing they holler is Moscato. Yeah, and that shit's annoying. Then the folks ain't really Don't about that wine Don't ever come to my house and bring me some fucking Moscato. I'm already irritated. Mm. Like, that's disrespectful. Mm. A, I'm not going to drink it. It's too sweet for me. It is sweet. It's, it's a very, I don't even want to call it a dessert wine because dessert's already sweet. Usually yeah, you try yeah. to do like a Riesling with a, with a dessert. She up here, yeah. Cheyenne, up here, got this wine game going. <laughs> what? Okay. You know, right, it's then. the culturally well, ratchet podcast. I mean, shoot, you that's all cultural <laughs> right there. Ain't, ain't nothing ratchet about that. <laughs> but hey, yeah. shout out to um she, she, she truths to this. She ain't losing yeah. listen. Shout out to Malcolm Miller just bought a ticket to a sundress and sangria. Hey. You know, I get these notifications to the to Oh my yeah, phone I need to go ahead and buy my ticket, I guess. <laughs> I guess I can do that. Man, what does Jimmy talk about in his uh group chat right now? Hey Jimmy, we never shout him out. We on here. Hey Jimmy. Yeah, Jimmy, I ain't even see it. I, I missed what you were saying, bro. Did you get a message? I, 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 I was trying message. to look at it. Oh, I keep typing in the wrong. Stop putting my business out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> look, 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 look. Oh, Loki told on Steve that this. Yeah. Steve, how many tell you right that a week, Steve? Talk about it. How many what? Oh, I ain't even get your message, man. My message all backed up oh, every day, bro. <laughs> Oh wait, so I want I just want to say what Jimmy said about okay. the whole black and white thing about why black people were so hype about her um marrying into the royal family. He was saying because she's half black, which is funny because the royal family empire was built off the backs of slaves and the prince and his school buddies used to dress in clan outfits and party together. Black folks confused the shit, laugh out loud. Mm. You know what I did see that picture. It was I, a didn't picture. Know it was, I saw that. I didn't know that was him. There was a, you know, and what's funny is in the world of the internet and, and all these damn apps, you can easily Photoshop some shit. So I'm kind of, I'm always skeptical on mm. stuff like that. Or not just stuff, I mean, just pictures, period. But yeah, I did, I did see that picture of him in a clan's outfit. But then I also seen him in a picture of like traveling to Jamaica and shit. So mm. maybe he, it was a meme where it was like, you know, at this moment he knew he didn't want to eat and season chicken for the rest of his life. So. <laughs> Maybe he caught a whiff of that that oh. jerk and was like, "Gotta have it." Gotta have. Gotta it. have it. Here's a question straight off of the um, off the hotline right here, people. We're gonna start incorporating these questions if we can. If y'all give them to us, it says, uh, "Do you think it's because a lot of black women want a, a white man deep down inside?" I just had this conversation with my mom, and my aunt. No. What you say in your mind? My mom and my aunt. Oh no! Wow. He just deemed me psychotic, low key. <laughs> <laughs> the question says, do you think it's because a lot of black woman, women want a white man deep down inside? I think the I, the <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I, I could I could kind of get it. I think the idea of it could be appealing. But like I said, realistically, mm. it's nothing about why is it appealing? I th- like I said, I think just the idea of it, the idea of people think automatically that white is, is better or they're going to mm. have money or they're going to treat you right or they, you know, respect the queen and all of this extra shit. But I think f- for me, at least realistically, I've there's nothing I've ever found draw dropping attractive to a white man mm. where I'm like, oh, this is this is who I want to. You know what I'm saying? I mean, not even just off 
looks. I mean, even just so you talking know, you, to you, you pro black. Like, that's what she talking. Yeah, to. I mean, it's like black black <laughs> men have that charisma, that swag. It's like they start to talking, or they they for way it's that that skin complexion's automatically that's win. Okay, and then okay. you know you, you start you talking. And, yeah, like okay. it's a whole ordeal. It's a whole aura with black mm. men. So that's just my opinion. Okay, but you know, Tansy, it could be the idea of it that could be appealing to to some women. The idea of a white man. I wish we had some more black women in here to get yeah, their this views is definitely on that. It's a bunch of hard legs. <laughs> yes, it's a bunch of hard legs in here right now. <laughs> That's a first. Never heard that. <laughs> you never heard of hard legs? Nah, it's what? definitely a first. That must be something we say in, in like amongst, amongst each other. men. Yeah. A sausage party. Damn, cuz. I've never heard, heard it either. I've heard sausage. You never heard of hard legs? I've heard sausage party. Wow. Y'all heard of hard legs? If I say it's a bunch of hard legs in here, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 I was yeah, about yeah, to say yeah, yeah. Yeah, that too. I mean, I yeah, see, you 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 picked up on the context. That we talking about. Yeah, yeah. been to a party, or a club, so you like, boy, it's a sausage fest in this yeah, motherfucker. Definitely, that ain't no I, good I, time I've right now, boy. Especially after you don't spent the twenty. You, you say like, you have. Oh. Yeah, I've heard of sausage. Yeah, fest. yeah. yeah. Nah, I don't. I, you know oh, what's funny? Oh shit! You <laughs> about to get some started. Hey, I ain't got you about time. About to get some started. Hey, I ain't got time. Nah, what do y'all say though? I was gonna say I don't think we we've ever had a issue, or it's always just like, damn, what a niggas. But it's not like, ooh, that's it's, what I hear. I do hear that a it's lot. It's like it's yeah. never like, ooh, it's a fucking seafood market in here. See, like we don't have hey, no corny ass lobster shit. Nah, y'all, just, <laughs> nah, y'all, <laughs> y'all ain't got no sauce. Because that bro. was that's that was dumb is, corny. It's too much fish in here. Like damn. Cheyenne, so, yeah, since you, you're, you're the, the, the woman here, so we're going to ask you some women questions for real, for real. Oh. Hey, why is it that... Um, I don't like where this is going. No, no. These are these are just thoughts from, well, from me, Steve. You can give a question if you want to, but I want to know, why is it that it seems like it's hard for black women to have a lot of friends with other black women? This is just something Let's that... Let's dig. Ooh, that's a good one. It, all right, so I've always, I've always grown up... I don't have any sisters. Okay. So my relationship with women is a little different. I have aunts. I have a lot of aunts. Okay. And I, I have uncles too, but my aunts are here, so I'm, I'm okay. I see them a lot more. I've never been the type to have an issue with women. Like, okay. I always, if I see you, I compliment you. You know, I'm 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 the friend that will buy you a drink in a second, mm-hmm. and we can go on about our day. Um, but I think for other women, they have a hard time dealing with other women. Just on a regular high and by basis, mm. and for that it creates this thing of I can't trust other women outside of my my own circle. Okay. And um, you know I would like fire truck being disrespectful. It's all good. Hey, but that's how you know we at. Yeah, Love yeah, we out I, here, It don't surprise right? me. Yeah, I felt I felt comforted yeah, by that. Yeah, I thought I was on metropolitan. <laughs> right. Again, right? <laughs> but I always used to hear that growing up, people going, "Oh, I don't fuck with women because they too bring too much drama." And it's like, really, they don't. If you just shut the fuck up, it's really not that hard. <laughs> it's not. And you see, just I gotta think not maybe tell because you business. grew up with a bunch of dudes that maybe that's how you feel. Because that's something, like, I honestly want to know. And they ain't trying to start no, like, you know, no, black no, you women do. don't come for me and all that. Right, But these right. are real questions. Like, like for example, right, it's one, two, three, four, five, mm-hmm. what, six dudes in here. I think I counted right. Six dudes in here. Mm. I guarantee right now, if we didn't know of each other, we can sit down and have a full-blown conversation for an hour. Mm-hmm. With, like, I'll meet each other just like that. Yeah, and women don't do that. And yeah, that, you don't and see you, that. Or it's, and it's rare. It's like, I'll rare. be the person to start a fucking conversation. Yeah, yeah, you do it, you do it. It's weird. And, and I think it's a thing of women feeling like competition is a Competition, to one okay, okay. Women is kind of like, oh, well, you know. They, and it, it's, it happens. Like, I'm guilty of it. I go up and I'm like, all right, this bitch, all right, cool. And she can be cool as shit by the end of the night. But initially, I'm like, I ain't saying shit yet. Mm. It, it's, it takes me a minute because you don't know how that other person gonna get. You got right, some right. real stuck up ass women out here that don't really got shit, but you know we'll save that for <laughs> She's another throwing day. Them jabs. <laughs> it's true. You got some real stuck up ass women. You like why are you like this? Like, yeah. You know I've seen I've seen people do it and it's unfortunate, but you know some people really have to meet people on a like what you gonna do for me basis mm-hmm. until they get cool with each other. Yeah. 
That's my take on it. No, I, I mean, I, that's just something I always wanted to know, man. Just getting in the mind of, because we had, we had that long, detailed podcast with us talking about, like, inside of a black man's mind right. and, you know, therapy and all of those things. And just, like, hearing from the free male perspective, like, the stuff that y'all deal with. Because I don't think we really know. Like, Women for real, just, we don't really know. It's, it's simple and complicated. What, what, what do I you mean? I know that makes no sense, but it is. Simple it's and like complicated. What you, you mean? It's like, or for me, it's kind of like I'm always looking to to better myself, so to speak. Mm. So, like, for instance, like, me and Tria had this conversation, like, maybe, like, three weeks ago. And it was weird because we was having, like, a dead-ass heart-to-heart in the middle of, like, a whole event. <laughs> and it was weird. And it was cool. But event. it was like, damn, like, I met another woman that, that feels and, and, and is going through the same shit I'm going through. And all we had to do was just talk to each other. Right. And, like, we're cool. So it's not like it was hard and we didn't have no, like, crying session. But it's like, okay, cool. I'm not the only one that feels this mm. way. So I, I think... For women, we always try to put on this kind of like y'all were mentioning last week about this this barrier, this arm, and it's like women, we kind of carry the same thing too. Like, oh, no, everything's okay. Like, it's good. Like, it don't matter. Like, shit's fucked up, but it'll get better. Or mm-hmm. And we do that in, in relationships. Like, oh, okay, it's cool. Like, I don't want it to look like it's fucked up, but it's whatever. And you wear that armor for so long, and it's like you can't do it anymore. And it's okay. It's okay to know when it's too much, to know when to give up, to know – or not even give up to know, like, okay, this isn't for me anymore, or this isn't for me right now, and to and to let that be okay. And for women, we try to be so, like, no, we can handle it. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. And it's like, after so long, you're, you're going to have that moment where you break down. Yeah. So it's kind of what y'all were saying, but as women, we're a little more vocal about it, but... But we're only so vocal about it. We don't explain right. everything. It's just enough for you to kind of be like, oh, okay, I get what you're saying. But it's like, for real, for real, shit's fucked up. Like, yeah, I'm telling you, this is some fucked up shit. But it's like, no, nah, this shit's legitimately fucked up. Right, And right. I just haven't gone into detail about it. So. Gotcha. Yeah. Hey, we just all need to sit down and talk to each other, man. I'm, that's basically what it come down to. <laughs> People like, don't talk no more. I guarantee you, if you, if a woman's going through something... In a moment, and you and you ever if you ever ask a woman like, "Oh, how you doing?" and she's about to have a fucking like you can look at it, she gets uncomfortable and is about to mm-hmm. break out. Something's happening. Mm. Like it's just a oh, how you doing? It's like fuck. Or, is it because nobody's ever just, asked? Nobody like asked? Nobody asks that. you that? Nobody right. goes, "Oh, how was you?" You know, you just kind of like, "Oh, she's good, whatever." And it's like, no, shit's happening. We assume y'all. Um, Y'all just like super strong beings or right. something like we don't pay attention to it or something. I don't right. know. Or that our emotions are just, it's like, okay, well, she's just being emotional. Like you take oh, our man. emotions as being, it's like you don't take them seriously or important. It's kind of like, oh, okay, well, she's, it's like she's being a woman today. And it's like, all right, fuck. Mm. Like that phrase alone, she's being a woman. Or that, oh, you on your period? Like that shit. That's like one of the worst things to do. Yeah, it's like now, I'm, now, yes, I'm on my fucking period. Now I'm about to go to fuck off because it's irritating. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not on yet. I'm coming, and and now you about to piss me off. <laughs> now I'm starting early. I'm starting early because <laughs> you're pissing me off. But yeah, I, th- I just you know we just have to talk to. You. I think just as people, you just have to talk to each other more. Yeah, yeah. No, no, that's a good point. Yeah. We um. I feel like I just went on a tangent. No, no, it's good. I just wanted to know. Yo, your man good? He had to go to the bathroom. He wasn't going to make it. Bro, I'll tell you, you can't just right. get up and run like that in front of a bunch of black people, bro. All right, now eight's gone with that bullshit. But you can't <laughs> do nothing like that, bro. Like, I don't know how y'all work up on top, bro, but down here we that bullshit. That, <laughs> we be on high alert when we see yeah, people yeah. moving like that right, right there. He, he moving didn't even like say that with, with some flops on right. too, bro. Yeah, like, hold on. He ain't say nothing. Like, no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't know what's going on. You can't do it. I need to be running too. I need to got that <laughs> hey, grabbing on. He said, man, I'm about to leave yeah. keys in here and everything, like, bro. 
I already know I got an escape plan. I'll go right out the window back your way. This ain't that far. We're only one level up. Yeah, I might twist I my might, ankle or something, but <laughs> might, I'm good. I might break a big toe or something. I'm going to shatter your whole face. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. jump from this window. Shin kneecap and yeah. all. <laughs> that was some shatter some shit. Goddamn. Fuck around, I got an amputated leg. What you rather have, though? A shattered leg or a bullet in you? What's up? No, no, I'm taking it. Steven? That. I'm taking it. Hey, book. Steve, we about to take your phone for the episode, bro. I, yeah, I feel like you've been very disrespectful, man. I'm on your bumper, bro. What, bro? <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, bro? At least you get you looking up for the word of the day, man. What's going on, man? You going through some things, though. We need to talk about it. No, uh, fat boy look, looking up some food. How you doing? What's going fat boy on? You okay? Up some food, bro. How's your day? Are you you looking okay? up some recipes? Oh, you Uber? Are you Uber eating something? Nope. You lying because I, exactly, I know what the font look like. We had I, this conversation bro, a couple weeks ago. I know what the font look like on the Uber Eats I know app. what the font looks like. I do. You did this a couple weeks ago, bro. You ordered food. They tell them about the food show. And I'm slick sitting here hungry. And I'm hungry, so. I will, no, I'll cash up you bro. some money for the food, I but damn. Hey, I ain't know y'all was staying here. See, you ain't the only child leader, right? I ain't know you. No, I'm not. You pulling some only child stuff right <laughs> no now. No bullshit. <laughs> no bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna order my food. They cool. I'm pulling that terrible stepdaddy. No, they don't want any. I'm just getting something for my little boy. Wait, man, what? <laughs> she don't want. Them. I'm getting something for my what? little boy. Fucking hungry. Hey. Fuck is this? It's all good. Bro. I didn't know y'all was staying, hey, bro. Hey, so is you hey, ordering or no? It's all good. Nah. Huh? Is you ordering or no? It's you know, too right late. We doing this shit. He already don't order now. I didn't. Okay, cool. cool. So where you ordering I from? Was, so I, was, I can put I was it. Getting it together. Okay, but where you ordering yeah. from? I don't know. I was looking. <laughs> like, what you thinking about, man? I don't know, bro. I was looking. He was bro. on was some seafood. Of, I was in the midst of looking, bro. He was on some seafood. Thank seafood. I don't, bro, I don't know, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he can hey, tight. Hey, drop his phone like that? He get tight. <laughs> he bad he as shit. Tight. Nah. He bad as shit. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, nah, right, nah, he, right. I said, how many times I got to say the shit, though? Hey. You <laughs> have an idea though, but you I, got an idea though. I don't. I hey, was scrolling, bro. Oh, well, we hey, not gonna do it now, though. That's what we not gonna do. I was scrolling. Hey, he, bro. he ain't gonna order no food now. He gonna wait. He gonna wait to get off. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna have some delivery. We named this episode Steve trying to sneak by food. <laughs> right. and that was about bro, I was just scrolling. Bro. It's cool. Man. I ain't made that shit last time. It's cool, man. It's cool. Bro, I thought I was staying, bro. I ain't know you. I was dead. Hey, man, ain't no hurt feelings, man. It's all good. It sound like it sounded like y'all tight. That's why I went to me. That's that's why I went to spins because I was like, man, I'm hungry. So it's all good. It's cool, man. It's cool. Usually I'll be going. I was staying trying to get down, watch a little B ball. I feel you, man. It's all good, man. Yo, what what else we got though? I'm saying, what on top is that? So you can't get two in a row now. There'll be two weeks in a row now. No, nah, because we didn't thoroughly go over this. We didn't thoroughly discuss what what exactly. We, we mentioned some things, but we didn't say exactly what we talked about. I know y'all had y'all a little bit about the sports thing. We talked about the wedding. <laughs> Steve, you got some topics? No, nah, I'm, I'm disappointed. Well, guess we're going to wrap this one all <laughs> up. <laughs> no, don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. We would have kept flowing if your ass went ordering food over there. Y'all yeah, was in my business. You weren't no, paying no, attention no, 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 to no, no, our no, no. business. No, I was listening. Don't tell me why I could goddamn do that. What we you know, about? yes. What from we from 7 o'clock till 9, you are, you are here. Oh. Okay, you are talk here. Talk about it. Fuck Uh-oh. all that shit you got going on Uh-oh. over there. What's in this shit? <laughs> <laughs> From 7 to 9, we need your full attention. <laughs> that Cabernet got to you, goddamn. <laughs> shit. I'm about your business and your ass over here all set with these hot-ass lights. Nah, y'all. Nah, y'all was in my business, bro. I was listening. I was listening. It was, you he had, had the floor. You didn't have no input. You had the floor. You ain't had no questions. Mm. I mean, she on your bumper, bro. I mean, bro. I, mean, kinda I, got, I kinda had the same. Point, I, no, she doesn't. I had the same question. Good. Head. What was the question? Why do women uh, don't like other black women? He oh. had another one after that. Yeah. Yeah. What? No, that's what I. That. that what? It wasn't another one. Yes, it was. It was. It's cool though. What it was? Don't worry about it. <laughs> you You should have been paying attention, bro. Uh, <laughs> it was though. It's all good, man. Thank it's you. all good. Y'all asked me about one at first. <laughs> <laughs> no, we said questions with an S. 
Okay. <laughs> well, I, I, I think that we we about to record the last episode on No Buffer Podcast, man. It's <laughs> over with, man. Nah. No, it's not. I'm just joking. It's, it's cool. <laughs> calm down, calm down. But no, for real, though. We in it, though, for real. If not, we can do our threes for the... I ain't got on no apparel. Well, it sound like we ended there. Yeah. All right. Well, threes. Let's see what I got for my um. Oh, check out hip hop moment of the week. Um, it's low key. It's like it's a good. It's a good project that I just checked out, and now I'm trying to think of it. Hold on, give me one second. I had it in my um my thought process. <laughs> but why my why so my internet not working though? Oh. No, oh, actually, it was from a, it was from a couple of weeks ago, and I don't think I said anything though. But um, what you call the album is really good, man. Who album? Rush to Five Nine. Did Damn, I talk about that? No, and it's I really and I album, swear bro. I wanted to hear. I I watched his um interview on the Breakfast Club, and What's I really called? wanted to listen Book to Book of it. Ryan. It's really a good. I heard album, it was though. good. No, it's it's like, and I tell you, I've never really like, been a huge fan of him. Like mm-hmm. I've never dug deep into his catalog yeah, but like mm-hmm. this is a, a good album mm-hmm. from start bars, to finish though. no i mean i knew he always got the bars but like album wise i've never really like just sat with an album right 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 but this one no Yo, bro you bringing that up all, bro right. like, you feeling tight about outcast where this you ain't no outcast from? and wu-tang debate but I where you to come a lot from? Of I'm saying he just inquired. <laughs> yeah, I just inquired. Who do you like? Listen to we him. talked about so many artists. Yeah, like I'm not even. That was not even best. a justifiable question for me to answer. I listen to your man. Okay, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you a good answer for it. His marketing plan wasn't good enough. Mm. <laughs> Facts. Facts. He sounds thoroughly confused. <laughs> I mean, he I mean sounds, that's that's the real answer. Sounds, that's the real answer. Why, did, why, why don't we discover a lot of <laughs> artists? Perplexed. <laughs> with, with, all, with all the music that's out today, why don't we listen to certain stuff? They marketing plan wasn't good enough to get my attention. No. Absolutely, but what I'm saying is, yes, you do. You if know, that was yes, the case, do. Nikki wouldn't need no marketing. Yeah, like, come on. Bro, it don't it don't matter about that. Who who's your artist that you like? Nas, right? So do do Nas need a marketing plan for you to listen Absolutely. to? Absolutely. You because nah. what? Because why? Why? But hold on, why? No, why? What? What's the real reason why you gonna check out a Nas album regardless? Because you've been a fan, right? Oh, my point is, that I've never been a fan no, of Royce the no, Five Nine. No, so why would yeah. I go and check out an album if I'm not a fan of him? Because his no, marketing plan wasn't good enough. But how would you know enough. that? I was, he if went you on my radar. you a fan, how would you know that? No, yes, he's just not on my radar. No, he was just Nas not on my radar, know, bro. He's nice, but if he got some new shit, like Nas isn't at the top of my list to listen to when he come out. <laughs> this guy, I expect that. Hilarious. Bro, why you ain't heard T.I. last album? Uh-huh. You know he nice. Mark. You know he don't. He he's not into downtown. Why are we saying shit. the same thing though? Why are we saying the same thing? But you know though? he nice though. Bro, I just asked you. Did you listen? You just. That's the same thing he just said. Bro, he just said the same. He literally said the same <laughs> thing, just with a different rapper name. No, those are facts. She just she. These are facts. There's a seat over that, there. I said that I, I know how dope Royce the 5'9 is, but I just never got into his catalog. Yeah. You, you, yeah, it's all Yeah, he literally though. said the exact you, same thing you just you, said. You, I already put it out there. You said, you know he's nice. He said, yeah, but I'm not, you know, I ain't been listening to his other music like, like that. That was in the beginning. Yeah. I it's think okay, you missed though, that man. part. Sorry. It's, all, it's all good. He was just repping for him, man. You know, I feel you. You miss Andre. I'm a fan of of Outkast. Right. I'm gonna find it. You know what I'm saying? If I'm not a fan of somebody, I gotta I, some kind of way. I gotta get to it. You know what I'm saying? Like if if you I'm not a fan a of you, it's gotta be more. You know, I'm either scrolling and see it. You know what I'm saying? Like something. It has to get my attention. I'm not just gonna go and listen to an album because if it's RZA dropped there. the album right now, I'm not listening to it. 
that's just me. I'm not a fan of, of RZA, the rapper. I'm not going to go and listen to, you know what I'm saying? Now, if he has some marketing in play, and this is not just because of, I'm just using it as an example. Name a, rapper, na- name a rapper who you think that I wouldn't listen to. That's popular. <laughs> no, I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Who? Lil Yachty? Um, I probably, no. Yeah, but I've li- but I've listened to Lil Yachty before, and he didn't appeal to me, so I was like, it's I'm the cool content on it. of it. It's but the marketing me. plan, it's that's still somebody you could name off the top of your head of. Okay, who's a who's and his an marketing plan right for now? the first album was good. That's why I listened to it. Right. But I listened to, it, I was like, oh, it's not for me. So I'm not gonna keep wasting my time for it. Like so I'm cool on it. Marketing plan is for something to click on, and then you can decipher yeah. after that whether you want to keep listening to it or not. You heard Isaiah Rashad last album. That shit was tough. See? That shit was tough. Oh, you pulling the old head card. What you doing? Why are you not going to... Why are you not... Why <laughs> what are you, you not... What you, you what gonna listen doing? to Nas. Ace, hey, so you going to listen to Nas. But why, but why not? Why not? He pulling the old head card. How you not... So you in the whip. You ain't going to put the Nas on? Oh. Oh, yeah. He done graduated to the... So it's over with. <laughs> boy, I had to give him a fatty pack with a <laughs> <the> new balance. <laughs> And a black t shirt. Yeah. He already on the camos. No, don't, yeah. <laughs> don't listen to Nas album though. He already yeah. on the camos. You listen to Nas. So when you skim through, what do you do? Oh, respect. Yeah, that's I respect that's, that. that's true. But what what would yeah. you consider a catchy beat for you? For you, because like <laughs> no, because like because like. I typically like anything with a sample. If you got a sample to it, I'm probably gonna listen to it, or some old school. No, no, I'm saying now, as far as what's catchy. Back then, you didn't have to have nothing catchy. Shit was just good ass music. So I'm saying for now, what what would you, what would be deeming as something that you would listen to? I mean, you mentioned Lil Yachty. Would you, do you listen to Lil Yachty? The broccoli joint. Catchy beat, okay. Something like that. After that, right? I thought there was. A... Oh, I remember that. Oh, I don't know that. Minnesota, yeah. I don't even remember. I ain't even goes. like that. I think it was with Target, was but I don't remember. The Sprite. I think oh, it was Sprite. Sprite. Yeah, he had yeah, Target, one of them. He had Sprite and Target, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was I both. I don't remember the song, though. That's how un- un- Come un- like Minnesota. Un- oh, you fucking with bro. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking bro, huh? <laughs> I mean, man, you know, some music for certain modes, man. Like, you got to be in the type of mood where you... You know, if you want a club, you cool. can't go in. Right. Like, I mean, and I'm, I'm, I'm not trying to put shots on you, but like, I'm not trying to listen to Nas at the club. You know what that's I mean? True. That's true. Okay, that's true. That's true. But like, outside of Uchi Wally, yeah, yeah. I'm not. You know, if if you bring put on Nas in the club, I'm probably gonna be like, that's the time when we're gonna get a drink. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing. Right, like, right. right. No, I mean, he a good DJ if he can convince me that Nas is like, if he can put on a Nas joint that's going to make me move, you know, like, it's, it's ways around it. You probably got to mix it with something up, you know, something new. Yeah, yeah if you yeah. throw in a, yeah, yeah, Different yeah. beat, yeah. But there ain't too many, it ain't too many Nas records that going to come on between 10 and 2 that's going to have me up, you know what I mean, at the club. It's just not going to happen. It's not going to happen at all. Yeah. Oh, I do have a question. So how did y'all feel about, how do y'all feel about, um, Meek getting out of jail and doing this whole prison reform thing. You know, he's been meeting with a oh, yeah, couple of councilmen and, and mayors and city officials about changing some laws. I think he passed like like a eight. It was like a thing he put out that they're passing like a eight eight different laws to be changed about certain um, things about probation and right. stuff like that. I'm um. I don't know if y'all hit. I'm to all it. for it. Yeah, that was just about to say. yeah. I'm all for it. I feel like it's it's some personal growth that's happening. Like mm-hmm. I'm, I'm seeing it. It's obvious that like he came out of prison and, and was like, okay, this is an opportunity for me to, 
all eyes are on me and people are looking at me because I was in jail. So this is the perfect <laughs> no opportunity, you know what I mean, to <laughs> to do what's going on, you mm-hmm. know. Uh, and um, I mean, I think it's cool if it's genuine. And from the interviews that I've seen, it feels genuine. Yeah. It don't feel like he just doing it to be doing right, it. Like right. it really feels like something he's passionate about. Right. So, I mean, I'm all for it. I'm, I am interested to see, like, how all this is connected. You know what I mean? Because there's a lot of things that's been happening around Meek that... I feel like other people got their hands in and it's not just me. Yeah, I was you know going to say mean? about so about that. I mean, just who he has on his team. I mean, shit, you got Jay there. So yeah, that's I a mean, huge part of it. So I, he's working on like a documentary too. I will say that he, he definitely on a comeback tour though. Going, yeah. I hate to say this, but I think going to prison was like one of the best things to happen for me. Like for real, because prior to that, when that whole the Drake situation was happening, mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a, a bad lot of, time. It went Downward look, spiral. Yeah, yeah, it went looking good. It went looking good. And then again. he was with Nikki, and then she started twerking on stage, and that was awful. That, that was, was a huge that L. Was bad. God, know. that was such a. I, I'm still surprised she even came back from that because that was a major L. Yeah, and you know, it se- it just seems that like once he went to prison, the narrative switched from like, man, Meek's career is over to like. Well, I guess it's because of what he went to prison for. Right, right, right. Because when right, they right. first said he was about to go back to prison, people was on some like, damn, bro, bro keep taking L's. Right. You know what I'm saying? But then when they switched to like, man, he really going to prison for some some BS, then it started kind of sparking that conversation. Sparking another conversation. So, yeah, he on the comeback tour right now, man. Hopefully the music, which I think the music still going to be good. You know, right, right. like I'm kind of curious to see what it's going to sound like. I mean, even with him talking about it, it sounds like it's going to be pretty interesting, but I'm curious to know how he's gonna lay that out mm, yeah 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 he um we'll see hey i seen offset got fucked up in that car oh. man yeah what? no no you what see that? he got in a car accident and he was fucked like in what way like hands open like yeah it was bad real deep gashes, gashes and yeah. neck brace and got uh, face for, yeah. But the car itself looked bad. It's like, oh, yeah. I don't even know I mean, how he like, got out of it. It was a single it. car? He was, he was in the Hellcat. Fuck that shit up. Ooh. Yeah, I don't know how he... Dang, yeah, he was in the cat. He was in the Hellcat. You been in one of them before, bro? A Hellcat. What's a Hellcat? What's a Hellcat? Um, is his head broke? Oh, no, I think he just had a really deep gash. In. His laceration? Yeah. Oh, that was, it was bad. Dang. What's a Hellcat? It's um like a charge, uh, like a supercharged, super, su- supercharged charge, yeah. yeah. Oh, for like charges nice. and challenges and shit. Nurse, what they every day. About an eighty. Woo. Mm-hmm. He going? He gonna be able to go on tour? I think. Oh, they say he was in the studio didn't uh the night. Oh. Uh, the last night, money don't stop. Nas was here. What he was at? Uh. Oh, okay. Where, you, went? Where, you went? Damn, that was last week. I thought you was a fan. Ooh. I told you I don't like to sit in that long shit. Oh, <laughs> you're a bougie fan. Yeah, yeah. You gotta, gotta be. You gotta fan. be in the stadium. You gotta be in the stadium. But you, you gonna be? You gonna go to A three C though? Cause he. Well, you probably gotta stand up for that though. You gonna still? Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you said you don't want. To, oh, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. I got you. Yeah, check your man's out, man. You say you? Oh, you seen the perform before? Okay, got gotcha, you, got gotcha. you. I feel you. Then no, I, no. I'm saying if you would have, you know, haven't seen him perform yet, then I would have had. Right. I got gotcha. you. No, just you know, just making sure, man. He tried to, bro. <laughs> he tried to. I just want to make sure, man. You know, you never know. People be out here false claiming, you know, being fans and they. <laughs> Ain't spent no money on a concert ticket in there. Talking <laughs> about you a fan. Not even a t-shirt. Hey, Can't bro. give you a hot bar right now. <laughs> We're like, bro, you don't even know my third album. Talking about you a fan. I've been down since day one. No, maybe day since two. Since Steelmatic. Boy, I've been in the game with you, bro. Since Steelmatic. <laughs> since Steelmatic. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Like, Definitely like, not it. Like, bro, what's the first album? What you, you got it. Steelmatic. I got you. I got it. I had that right there when I was in elementary school. Facts. Everybody's low key watching the game right now. No, no, it's cool. We went on. I did my um my three, bro. I was waiting on y'all. We went off on a tangent. <laughs> what you gonna do the bro what? Huh? You gonna do the bro what? Or no? Bro. What happened? T- 
to I'm trying to think of it while we're going. What ha what's uh uh OJ the Juice Man? Hey, 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 okay, okay. okay. He ain't a young Joe though, because he only had one. I'm just saying it's for him not caring about He don't care, yeah, he don't he care. Don't care. Mm-hmm. Like for real, bro. What happened to OJ, the Juice Man? Like he, I, I mean, he legit had a hit. He did. Quarter brick, half a brick, whole brick. Hey, quarter pound. His ad lib, man. Though. Gucci man made the trap. Hey, I'm booming. I'm fucking. Okay. I'm serving off Jay. Yeah. I need to bring that back on the DJ set, oh, bro. Yeah, what happened to him? The crib, bro. I'm sure he here, right? He in Atlanta still. Nah, I couldn't call it. Boulevard. Uh, he from Boulevard. He ain't from, I mean, Boulder Chris. I'm sorry. Romby. Romby. One of them. Yeah. What's up? Man, I ain't got no apparel for the day, man. I'm a little low. Okay, say mm. less. But um, <laughs> shout, out, shout, out, shout, out to, uh, shout out to Last Name Good with the uh, lazy shirt on today. Yeah, it's straight out the den, man. You go straight out the den.com and cop those too. They're there. I have yeah. merch on, on several yeah. sites, man. Multiple streams of income, even Listen. if they only making a couple of dollars. Ooh, man. Look, at that, look at that black dollar. That's it, man. <laughs> One day they all going to pop at the same time. It's going to be on. <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, I do have um, another one. I just want to put this out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, Hattie B's. It's oh, coming they, to they, Atlanta they, on yes. Moreland. It's about to be a movie. About to be dumb packed. Definitely it is. come to get some. Bro, I ain't rushing to get that hot ass chick. It was <laughs> set your old ass on fire around this <laughs> motherfucker. Man. Hey, you can't get the you can't go too crazy with you gotta get like that the lower grade. I heard hey, I heard it was hot as shit. Bro, the one coop had got one time, but he's supposed to sign a waiver for that shit, <laughs> yo. Like you a die off that hot ass chicken, man. For real, for real. Bro, your skin not supposed to be ruby red around this motherfucker, <laughs> bro. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> When your skin ruby red, bro, you're going to die, bro. It's, it's a, a problem. problem. supposed to die, bro. It's a problem. And then King got down. <sighs> Give us some water. <laughs> <laughs> that type of shit, man. I mean, he kept it cool for the Yeah, he boy. kept it cool. He kept it cool. But, yeah, shout out to Hattie B's, man. I, uh, uh, they good, though. We, we, we was I in Chattanooga. Not I Nashville, think. sir. No, no. I know they're in Nashville. But I'm talking about, remember, we did the show on Daylight Savings Tour. It was in Chattanooga. Yeah, we did a show in Chattanooga. We ain't gonna have the bees that time though. No, 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 no. It went no, hold on, hold on, no. We did a show in, in Nashville too. Did we What was the show with Doe? Was that in Nashville? It might have been Nashville, okay. But we talked to the owners at that time and it was like, Yeah, man, we're trying to get a Hattie Bees in Atlanta, we just don't know where. And uh, that was like what, two years ago. And so dope. now it's like so we shout put, out to them. We though. put it in their ear. Bro. We did shout hey, out to them, man. We put it in their ear real Next talk, we gotta bro. work on the Mediterranean sandwich cup. Ooh, yeah. I like where you're going with this. You know what we're talking about? You've been, it's no, in, it's just in like Mobile. The, the shit, Only in Mobile. Mobile. It's in Mobile. Yeah, they got yeah. two locations in Mobile, but yeah. we've been, Steve definitely been, every time we go there, Steve put like, bro, like, hold on. Like, let me, let me talk, pull you to this. Let me talk to you, like, for real, bro. Like, y'all can rack up with one of these in Atlanta, bro. Like, Listen, for real, They bro. throw that bitch in Linux, bro. It's over with. <sighs> It's mm-hmm. over with. I mean, and then the thing is, it's the type of place that need a high traffic area, though. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, they can't just, like, sit there right. somewhere, like, yeah. on the corner somewhere. No, no, no. No, it got to be seen because I'm telling you, people just going to try. Good. No, it's good. Okay. It's good. Like, hey, keep it. I had a dream about that place one time. Damn. Ah! <laughs> oh, for real. Damn. The Orzo, <laughs> like, the Orzo, the um, tomato basil Orzo. And uh, mushroom schmart schmart. How, how rice, you say it? Schwarma. Kind of schmart that. What do you say? Schwarma. I can't okay. say. I can't put them. That's two how you know so you I'm you look. go you go and you know your shit. Because I remember <laughs> we went back one time and they didn't have it. I no. was like, I ain't know what to do with myself. That's the one I wanted. <laughs> I ain't want nothing else. I, I wanted that one. Okay. Oh, um, that that shit. They're good. Should I go to Linux myself? Uh, talk to the people if I get a little uh, fee. Right. Hey, see, you gotta work hey, your no, move. See, see, see. This, 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 this the business talk right here. Like, I don't want them five percent. Five percent. A solid five. Five percent is a good number. That's always what on. booming too. Yeah. Five percent is that Next number. Don't nobody think about. They just be like, I mean, out. five. I ain't hurting with five. All right. Ain't nothing. Five yeah, percent. I don't need nothing but a thousand dollar. You know, knock them across the head. Right. Look, bro. Look, if I can, if I can pull two or three thousand dollars off of that a month, that's solid. I hey, what I mean, that's I do it for five five percent. It's gonna be more than that. I mean, I'm just saying, if I need, if you just want me to just like 
call here and there. That's all I want is five. Right. Now, if I got to be more involved, then we them numbers we go can up. talk. We can talk. We can talk extracurricular. Yeah, numbers. right. That's all though. Well, Steve, my you got um, word, of day? I, the word of the week. Uh, I'm sorry, week word is <clears throat> raillery, which means mm. good natured ridicule. Mm. Can you use that in a sentence? Uh, <laughs> Luke had to put up with a lot of raillery from his sister the first time. Mm. Hey, shout out to Lingo Steve to get my vocab up. Right. The yeah. word of the week. I'm going to have to use that three times in the sentence this week. It's just playful banter, ridicule banter. Playful ridicule banter. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So essentially when you're fucking with somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like H, where the hell you get them camouflage draws from? Pause. <laughs> he ain't even hear you though. <laughs> it's cool. Yeah. Like that's that's something you gotta you gotta type in Google right. camouflage draw. Right, right, right. <laughs> Enter. Right. Enter. <laughs> you you ain't just pulling up somewhere and finding them, bro. Right. He eBay them bitches, bro. The five packs with yeah, the yeah, different bro. colors. They got the bro, gray. When the you been on eBay? For real. Ooh. It's been a minute. Amazon took them over. I was over, gonna say bro. Amazon been. With I ain't been to eBay in a minute. Like, <laughs> bro, ain't got time yeah. to bid. Why right. I'm bidding for? Bro, did you used to fuck with East Bay? Yeah. Come what's on, we East all had Bay? a catalog. Wait, what's East you Bay? You did? shit. Huh? Bro. Wait, what is that? It's like a. Yeah. Well, oh. it's more like a team sports. Oh. It's a, it's a sports sporting, book. sporting goods. Yeah, because okay. they got swimming shit and yeah. golf shit and all kind yeah. of other shit. In there, Reason but. why I wouldn't know. Nah, you you go in there and find you some kicks out there, bro. Yeah, bro, they got the kicks. Hey, but bro. you know the crazy thing was like they went really on sale for real, for real. It was just Ooh. like no, well, they had a sales page, bro. Okay, I missed the sales page. It. Yeah, it, you weren't gonna find it. They in the did, store. but I said they had a sales page too. It got down shit highlighted in red and shit. You know that's the, they did. They did. I don't know. I ain't got. I ain't got a book from their ass. They in the got a book. Bro. Okay. I be. I be trying to. That was uh, that we had that with the source. Like we had the source had East Bay. Like that was that was gotcha. those were package deals right there. We got our gotcha. hip hop. We got our sneakers. I need. Gotcha. I need to get okay. back in the mailing list, bro. I ain't got an East yeah. Bay book forever. Got it. Go update your con- your your info. You yeah, gotta I mean, be careful nowadays. They be sending you all kind of snail mail. I used to love Jack. Jack. I used to love Jack. I ain't no, no. I think I used to get them over like Beauty of the Week. <laughs> 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 hey, I had a friend of mine. Somebody was in there like a wedding. Like they used to do the wedding photos. Something like that in the, in, in the jet. Yeah, they used to. Have, yeah, yeah, I had somebody. I can't remember who it was though, but they definitely got in it for Jet. I forgot what they called that little section. That, me too. But yeah. it was a cute little section. That's what's up, man. Damn. Are they still popping? I don't what? Know. Magazines? East, yeah, East Bay. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. We he were said, when the last about? time you been on eBay? eBay? And then he was talking about how Amazon kind of Amazon took, took over. over, man. And then that reminded me of East Bay, too. Like, did y'all fuck with Huh? Talking about Amazon Prime or something? Nah, I don't. What do you do with Amazon Prime? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what what you say, Steve? Now you're my business. You're my business. <laughs> hey, Steve, I, I, do shop, I do shop on Amazon. I'm not an Amazon Prime member. Hey. Yeah. No, no. Let me check. Uh, hold on. I was one. It's a little people. The, it's no, no, not. Bro, it's ninety nine dollars a year. Wait two three days, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, let me just put y'all on game since people need this information. This might be a new segment. We're going to call this, um, I can't think quick. Give me some. I don't know, bro. Like, you all right, cool. <laughs> look, I'm going to give it. I'm going to give y'all. Look, I'm going to give. We'll wait. I'm going to give y'all the knowledge first, then we'll name the segment afterwards. So, right. look, boom. Make up an email address. Subscribe to Amazon. Get Do the free month trial. Right when it get ready to end, go to it and say you want to cancel. They'll give you extra 30 days. You get two months of free prime off of email address. I've had Prime membership like five times. <laughs> so they caught on. They haven't caught on yet. I just used different emails. Shit, I got like I mean, you five. No, I mean, but the thing is, like, you know, shipping address, and then this is a good thing about Prime. I mean, about Amazon. Amazon has, you know, Amazon Locker. So you pick up. You got different pickup locations. So you never have to use your address. You just use the pickup ah. locker that you want to go to. So then, because you know how sometimes it be like, oh, 
this dude had this same same address like right. five times. Like that sounds like a lot of work, bro. It's really not though, bro. It's like an email address. You know, I got like plenty of email addresses too, though. Yeah. So I that's that's one thing. Like no buffer got an Amazon Prime account. I think it's again. Uh, it's about to expire in a couple of days. Uh-huh. Hey, yo, yo, here he go, here he go, here he go. Can you send it to my Gmail, please? Can you send it to my Gmail? Yahoo. <laughs> Shane, you got a Yahoo email? I do address? have a Yahoo. <laughs> Why? Because y'all two. Y- y'all Yahoo, two. that's your spam email. That yeah, okay. and I get. I don't Yahoo. like a lot of stuff going to my Gmail. I feel you. So I, got, I, I got a I Yahoo, but it's all spam, though. I feel you. Yeah, it's, it's spam like email, all the bro. shit that I know I'm not. I didn't no, want to say not, that, H. No. I would try to keep it low. I wouldn't go. No. <laughs> <laughs> the curve. That's we the curve. To the curve. <laughs> we back to the curve. The email address. <laughs> Hey, hey, when, hey, when they give you the yeah, Yahoo account, say, Yahoo, bro, when they no. give you the Yahoo or the Hotmail account, no, bro, that's even, the curve. I'm not saying it. I'm, I didn't say that. Bro, she hit you with a Greg Maddox motherfucker, bro. <laughs> I no, because did. I have like my U. I have like my. Where you gonna be? <laughs> No, yeah. I hey, have my hey, Steve, Steve, Steve. Respect, bro. You said great matters, bro. That's that real respect, oh, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's some real respect yeah, right now, bro. Shit, bro. I mean, the Braves in first place. They, yeah, they they two and a half up. It's all good. I mean, that's six kind of, about to go up, huh? No, bro. I'm told. <laughs> hey, I mean, I'm just saying. You know, we in first place right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two and a half up. We gonna set back up the whole it's cool. Hey, it's cool. But the thing is, the thing about me, it don't matter what y'all say. I've been a Braves fan forever, so Braves gonna be the champions 2018 World Series. Like that's how I'm. I'm that's every year. I'm like, I don't care if we win or lose, bro. Like I don't have. So time this to is the No Buffer Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bowl I mean, bro, if that's your team, you call that, bro. Who like, gonna be it? You said the Bengals. Yeah. I mean, that ain't gonna happen. But I feel you though. You gotta. Yeah, you believe a lot of things, bro. No, you don't want to. No, don't don't lose your money like that, bro. Hold you on, bro. I don't, that, t- I don't took a sucker bet from him too, bro. bro he can take that, sucker hey, bet. Put, put that money in stock or something, bro. Nah, hold on, <laughs> bro. You you banking on the red rifle, bro? Aaron a- Andy Dalton, bro. Mm. Y'all got y'all. Who y'all coach up there? Who y'all coach up there? They don't know yet. Oh, okay. Nah, um, they just fired him, did they? No. I thought they fired Marv him. Marv ain't going nowhere. He got, he got something on the owner. He got something on the owner, bro. He got something on the owner. He low-key like Romo. Owner got a set scandal going on. Hey, 15 years, no playoff wins. Right. He got something on the owner, bro. He, like something. Yeah, yeah, major. Like they no, can embarrass you, his ass. No, he got something. There's no way. Like, there's no way. I know they probably some gay shit. <laughs> <laughs> some eyes wide shut yeah, shit. I know some gay shit, bro. Yo, everybody trying to end it. Oh, <laughs> <fuck, laughs> we about to go down the rabbit hole. Of, we, about, no. we about to go down the road. Oh, I did want to. Oh, I, go ahead, I did want to talk about it. They talking about the Matt Gallon. Like, what the fuck do they do there? I don't and know. Everybody what is was it? saying it's like some low key eyes wide shut shit. I heard it's like twenty thousand, like a ticket though. It's like and like you get invited there. Like you don't just wait. That skunk, that's that's the good pack. Would you? It smell like piss, bro. <laughs> oh. I don't know. Better than what we smelled earlier today. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, well, um. <laughs> All righty then. <laughs> Guess we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and wrap, wrap this one up. on up. <laughs> wrap this puppy on up. Hey, ahead, wrap Cheyenne. it up then. Yeah. Um, oh, hey, real talk though. Before Cheyenne wrap it up, man, like um. Hey, make sure y'all subscribe on all things social media. Yes. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, yeah. Google Play, SoundCloud, all of that good stuff. I'm sorry, Shane. I just had to get that oh, out. Oh, no, yeah. you're good because I, I wasn't going to forget, but, you know, it's good to, that you got it out of the way. But, um, yeah, thank you all for tuning in to the No Buffer Podcast, the Culturally Ratchet Podcast. We say what we want when we want. Um, all buffer, no, no buffer, just facts. Um, and I think we're out. Last name good, Lingo Steve and Cheyenne XO. Thank y'all for tuning in. Catch you next week. Yep. yep.